Well, hello there. This is Tyler with TarverAcademy.com, and I want to show you everything I do when I first get into a Google Sheet. Okay, so I'm going to keep this quick, but um, we're going to focus on like a data-oriented type situation. Um, so let's say I'm in this Google Sheet. It is, um, it's just a list of some basketball players, and then they've got points scored, rebounds, and assists. Okay, so the first thing I'm going to do when I get into this Google Sheet is I'm going to lock in my top information. The reason is if I ever want to sort something, like say I want to sort it alphabetically, and I'm going to go up here and I'm going to click on this, I'm going to sort it A to Z. The problem is, look at that. My name, points scored, rebounds, and assists is down here in the middle because it's putting it alphabetical. I don't like that. Okay, so I'm going to undo. Um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to click on that top row. I'm going to go to view freeze and one row so what that does is that locks it in now I can't sort now I can sort by name and it's not gonna mess anything up it's gonna keep that at the top to be honest this is personal preference I also like to make that a solid color so I'm gonna select the whole row by clicking on the number I'm gonna go up here and I'm gonna click on fill color let's make it just like a light blue Ooh, that's so pretty okay so there we go. Um, another thing you might do is say I like, say I was filling in more stats out here, like three pointers made and blah blah blah, other stuff. Um, the problem would be like I'm looking at numbers and I can't see their names. So it might be a good idea to go ahead and lock in this column as well. So I'm gonna go to View, Freeze, and I'm gonna go one column. Boom. That means I can scroll to the right. And their name is always right there. Okay. Um, the next thing I'm gonna do is I don't like scrolling off into the middle of nowhere. That's my personal preference. I don't, I think it's just a waste of space over here and it's just a place, unless I'm gonna be adding stuff in, in these columns, I can get rid of them. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna click on where the letter is of the column to the far left of what you wanna get rid of. And then I'm just gonna, I'm letting go of everything. Now I'm scrolling over to the right, all the way to this one. And now I'm gonna hold the shift button, S-H-I-F-T. I'm gonna click on this that's going to select everything in between now that's a little shortcut you can use on anything with like files or um, anytime you're selecting stuff if you click one thing hold shift and click something else it's going to automatically hide everything in between okay so now i'm not touching anything on my keyboard um, or my mouse or trackpad whatever you're using so then i'm going to go up here i've got all this highlighted and then i'm going to click on somewhere in this dark gray i'm going to right click it's going to give me some options. I'm actually going to delete those columns. Delete columns E through Z. Boom. Now, oh, goodness, let me do that. Now, I, can, I can't scroll over. See? It locks it in. It's just showing what I want to see. I can do the same thing here for, like, all these. I can just select there, scroll down to the bottom. Hold shift, select, delete. Deleted. Boom, so now I've just got the information I want, and I can always add them back. So I can add them back by clicking add and then listing the number of rows. Just boom, it's back in there. Or I can right click up here, add column to the right. Okay, I don't wanna do that though. All right, and so there we go. So now I can sort by name. I can sort by who, hey, who had the most points? So I can sort it, boom. It, well, it's going to go A to Z, so it's going to lowest to highest. Oh, hey, Steph, what's up? Okay, and say I want to say, like, totals. Say I'll do totals. I'm going to make this um, yellow. And it was all yellow. Okay, let's say I want to know the total amount of each of these. So I'm going to do total points scored. I'm going to highlight all these. And then I'm going to go up here to the three dots and I'm gonna click this I'm gonna do sum because that means add them together I'm gonna hit return boom I know all together these seven players scored 197 points okay um, rebounds I can do the same thing I could keep doing it the way I was doing it or I can just click this little thing drag it over it's gonna add up all the rebounds it's gonna add up all the assists you're good to go that's the basics of setting up a Google spreadsheet when you have data you might delete this if we don't need it. Goodbye. Good farewell. Blah 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 blah. There you go. You're good to go. I uh, hope this helped. This is Tyler from Tarver Academy. 
or you can call me Steph Curry. A lot of people do. Not a good shooter, um, and nobody calls me that, but you do whatever you want. It's your life. Um, thank you so much for joining us, and if you would, please subscribe. That'd be dope. And last thing is, always be learning. Thank you, guys. See you later. Peace. Hey, what's up? Thank you so much for watching my training video. If that helped at all, please subscribe to this channel. It's free, costs nothing. Just click the little red subscribe button unless they change the color. Hey, also, if you want me to come to your school and help train your teachers or your administrators or your students and help make your life easier with Google, just let me know. I've got links in the bio on how to get a hold of me. DM me at Tyler Tarver on Instagram or Twitter. You can go hit my email, tylertarver at gmail.com. Um, or you can just yell really loud. Maybe I'm close. Oh, I thought I heard somebody. You want me to? Come training us on Google? No? Okay. It'll be fun. We'll learn a lot. And I'll give you a bunch of resources. So, thank you guys. Hey, did you subscribe? We talked about it earlier. No pressure. But if you want to, I'll be here. I'm just going to wait right here. Look at this lighting. Oh, wow.